This is the story of a man living in U.S. in 1970s. He was born with facial paralysis, which caused slurred speech and permanent skull later in life. After his parents' divorce, he spent time in foster care and got kicked out of several schools. One thing drove him forward is his passion for acting. He desperately wants to become an actor, but things aren't going his way. He is dead broke, not able to pay his bills, and he's got quarrels with his wife all the time because he doesn't want to take a normal job. He knows that once he starts earning a regular wage, he will slowly but surely forget his dream of becoming an actor and just live his life an ordinary job. He hates that idea and he would rather live on the streets against the underdog Chuck Webner. For these 15 rounds, Chuck Webner isn't a loser or a bum. He is a remarkable and vicious boxer. Our hero immediately goes back to his tiny apartment and starts writing a phenomenal script about a white working class guy from Philadelphia who against all odds gets a shot for the heavyweight title of the world in boxing. He sends the script to all the studios, but again, no one wants to touch his story. One day, while auditioning for a role as an actor, he gets rejected once again. He suddenly turns around and remembers that he's got his own face back and shouts to the producers that he's got an amazing story which they should check out. Doesn't want to hear any of it. 
so he offers him $2,000 and a small part in the movie. He gets to play the referee in the big fight. The man agrees, and so he goes on to produce the movie with a budget from the studio. He uses friends and family for the big part. To save money, and most of the shots are made in just one take with handheld cameras. He finishes the movie, and the big coming out for the film before hitting the theater is screaming to the director's guild in Hollywood. He's got his mother with him, and the theater is packed with around 100 people, all from the film industry. It's not going well. They don't laugh where love should be, and the fight scenes are not eliciting any response at all. One by one, people start leaving the cinema until our hero and his mother are the only ones left. She tells that he can come back home, put his life back together, get a job, and so on. He guided his mother down into the lobby and he sees the entire audience down there waiting for him and they start applauding wildly. Sylvester Stallone starts crying in tears of joy and all the hard work suddenly pays off. Rocky goes on to receive nine Oscar nominations, three wins including Best 